there was a snake came into the vihara and then uh, somehow the snake attacked this monk mm. and he passed away mm -hmm. other monks uh, approached the buddha and said to the buddha bhante the particular monk uh, he was really into metta meditation and then he uh, even uh, told us that don't disturb me <laughs> because i'm i'm into the metta all the time but this particular snake went up to the monk and attacked him and he passed away. Why did this happen? The Metta Sutta states that loving kindness should be sent to all types of beings, weak or strong, large or small, visible or unseen, living near or far, those who are born and those who are about to be born. The ideal of matter is certainly lofty, and a person imbued with matter is compared with the Brahmas. But the ideal of wishing matter to all beings, and not just to those we love, can be somewhat challenging for a person who is just starting his matter practice. How does a person begin his matter practice? Very interesting. Uh, after the first three stanzas in the Metta Sutta, Buddha talks about. Uh, uh, certain important aspects to uh, start out the practice. Uh, first, as you said, uh, we have to look at uh, beings in different manifestations. One is uh, visible beings, invisible beings. It seems to me that what the Buddha is trying to say is that uh, visibility, invisibility of beings matter to our metta practice, as well as uh, uh, the size uh, of beings matter to us. Not that uh, it is better to have tiny beings or small or big beings, large beings. What Buddha is trying to say is that uh, uh, the more we understand beings near, far, uh, the size and also enlightenment status like Sambhavisi and all that, that helps us to navigate our metta practice very well. I give you one example for this. There is one sutta in the uh, Sutta Pitaka, where one monk is self-proclaiming that he has been practicing metta throughout the day. But one day, uh, uh, there was a snake came into the vihara and then uh, somehow the snake attacked this monk mm. and he passed away. Mm -hmm. Other monks uh, approached the Buddha and said to the Buddha Bhante, the particular monk uh, he was really into metta meditation and then he uh, even uh, told us that don't disturb me <laughs> because i'm i'm into the metta all the time but this particular snake went up to the monk and attacked him and he passed away why did this happen then the buddha said i know he uh, has been practicing metta but he did not practice metta to certain four reptile groups so what happened those snakes did uh, any any snake out of any reptiles out of these four groups did not feel his metta. That means although we practice metta, if we do not include uh, all the kind of beings who are near us, let's say I'm in in a place where a lot of elephants are nearby, snakes are nearby. If I don't particularly specifically uh, extend metta to them, they might not feel my metta. So that's why this monk was attacked by one of the reptiles. He then uh, went on to say, Virupakka is one reptile group, Chabyaputta is one reptile group, Kanha Gautamaka is one reptile group, then uh, Erapata is one reptile group. So that means, uh, as you ask me uh, how to start this and navigate, it is better to understand uh, the beings who are near, far, uh, and then the size. So then all those beings can feel just uh, extending metta to myself and my loved ones, neutral ones, challenging ones, and all living beings. Uh, might not some, even we add everybody into the all living beings, but those particular beings must be really included. Now, one very good example is uh, uh, in my uh, retreats, there was someone who uh, was sharing with me a story and a question. Uh, she shared that uh, every day I am having a struggle in my household. Uh, there is someone uh, uh, who is really giving me a heart and big time. But I do metta. 
every day I start my day with metta. Then I ask her, did you ever include that particular challenging person in your metta practice? She said, no. How can I include that person? Then I said, expect more trouble. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to include everybody. You may have issues. But in the metta practice, we must include. That is why an understanding of being specifically challenging ones is very important. And other beings also in, uh, important. Uh, while we do this generic practice, we do a generic practice. But uh, each and everyone has their own uh, circles. So that's why Buddha said uh, uh, understanding different beings. Far, near, uh, enlightened, unenlightened. Uh, you know, seen, unseen, and all that, and, and, and uh, feared, fearless, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a purpose. Okay. <laughs> all right, okay.